Hello friends, in this video I will tell you about one special method of ellipse that is arc of circles method. Arc of circles method. So let's start. Just like oblong method, in this also, if suppose you, you will be given only semi major axis and semi major minor axis A and B, so you can make uh, ellipse. So by arc of circles method, how you will uh, draw the ellipse if only A and B are given, that is semi major axis and semi minor axis. So just first step is to draw one rectangle, just like in oblong method. <clears throat> if you want to look oblong method so you can refer to my another uh, video named oblong method to draw ellipse so first step is to uh, draw a rectangle of uh, sides 2a and 2b This is 2a and 2b. This is 2a and this is 2b. Suppose a is given 10 cm. b is given 8 cm. So your 2a and 2b will be 20 and 16. centimeter according to this question you don't have to read this much <coughs> uh, you don't have to write this much okay now again uh, here in this method we have to make axis line Okay. And focus. Focus will be given. So <coughs> if A B and focus is given, so then only uh, arc of surface method you could make. It is very fast and very unique method. Focus is given suppose four centimeter or whatsoever <clears throat> so suppose here is focus so from here also at the same distance focus will be there this will be f1 and this will be f2 ok now you have to uh, make so many lines perpendicular lines uh, along this axis so make any arbitrary number of lines 1 actually make point and then vertical lines suppose this is 1 this is 2 here somewhere 3, here somewhere 4, like that. Some more you could make, okay. This much points are enough. Now what you have to do? You have to, uh, first number, uh, first um, uh, name them A and B. Okay. And take the take the radius a f one. Take rounder equal to a f one. Uh, take uh, take the length a f one. 
measured by rounder and now take center as F1 and cut up and down on this perpendicular line through one isn't it now take the length b1 take the length b1 okay and take the center as f2 and cut these lines cut this sorry cut these arcs this cut two arcs up and down both together so two points those two points will be on ellipse one upside one downside this will be replica of that okay now over the point two take the distance a2 by rounder you measure and take the legs that much distance apart of the rounder and take this take the center as f1 and here up and down you take arcs on the perpendicular line through two and similarly take the distance 2b or b2 and now take the center as f2 and cut these arcs cut these arcs on uh, perpendicular through two okay similarly so these two points will be on the ellipse now take three so a3 length you have to take and take the center as f1 and cut so maybe they cut here very near or just be tangential and then take the length b3 and take center as f2 and cut this previously cut arcs take points here also 5 6 not necessarily at uh, 1 cm apart uh, anywhere you could take as much if you have to take 1 cm apart so you could now same with this line passing through 4 so take a4 as length by rounder and take f1 as center and cut these lines so here somewhere they will cut f1 is center now take b4 and uh, take f2 as center and uh, cut these arcs through 4 now similarly from 5 make perpendicular line and take a5 and take center f1 and make arcs on this uh, uh, make arcs on this line through perpendicular line through 5 and now b5 distance you take uh, measure from by that uh, uh, rounder take the legs that much distance apart 
B5 and put the uh, center as F2 and cut this previously made arcs on perpendicular line through 5. Similarly, through 6. Take length A6 and uh, take F1 as uh, center and cut and or some more nearer. Okay. And then V6 and take F2 as center. So like this, they will cut somewhere. Okay. Whatsoever. I have done by uh, freehand, but if you will do by uh, equipment, so it will be very accurate. Okay, now we can join. These all points will fall upon ellipse. This could be some above. And it's smooth. If some points are falling uh, some here or there, so uh, neglect them. Just concentrate towards smoothing the curve. Okay. So this is about arcs of circles method. Arts of circles method. Now, one very special thing, very unique thing, peculiar thing that you don't need to be given for size. Focus F1 and F2 will not be given. Then also you can make by this method. How? Because you could make F1 and F2 readily. How? This is A, B. Now, divide in half this also. In C and D. Now, if you will take semi major axis A as radius and take center as C then you could make an arc equal to A so this will cut the major axis at F1 and this side on F2 so take radius equal to A and take center as C and cut the actually F1 F2 should be somewhat here somewhat here it should be uh, according to this figure look A is this much so taking center it will cut here and uh, here somewhere so it will cut here like this. This will be F2 and this will be 
F1. So, taking sentence as C or D, you can cut measure axis having arc, uh, having arc of A, arc equal to A centimeter. Cut both sides to get F1 and F2. So, you will be given only A and B and you could make. Uh, one more method is oblong method as, as I told you and second method is this. Okay, thank you.